Hello over there, I am Giant Grodel and this is my new side series. I'm going to be showing you guys my video game collection from my Wii, my Wii U, my Switch, even though I have two games. Uh, maybe not, maybe wait till I get more games for my Switch, I guess, would make more sense. I have PS2 games, except for I have like a couple. But um, I'll show them off, I guess, it'll be a quick video then for the series. I have Xbox games, I have PS1 games, I have Nintendo DS games, so... Yeah, and I just wanted to use my camcorder for some of my videos, for this series actually, because like 95, well, I wouldn't say 95, but like a lot of my videos are just recorded with my capture card, my Elgato Game Capture HD. Just the um, first one though, the one that has um has just the component uh, cable or component, and then it has the HDMI, yeah. Because like the HD60 for the Elgato, has only just the HDMI, they don't have the component input or adapter, I guess you'd say. So, yeah. I just wanted to use my camcorder a little bit more, so, yeah. So here's my Wii, Nintendo Wii game, video game collection, and I would like to thank, um, Kyle's Game Room, because he kind of inspired me to actually do a video game collection video, because he recently did a Nintendo GameCube video game collection. And I was, I was like, hey, I'm looking for a new side series to do, or something different, my new side series, and I could use my camcorder, and I could show you guys um, all my video games for my consoles or my handhelds. So yeah, this is all my Wii games. You can see that I have two Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So we are going to go through the stack real quick, and hopefully it'll be a quick video, because I, I don't want it to take too long, so... Let's get started. First, we have Mario Strikers Charged. I've only played this game a couple times. I don't exactly remember when I got it, but it's a fun game. And I should get back into it, so I'm, I might give this another go. So we'll see. Here's Mario Sports Mix. I remember picking this game up shortly after it released. So I think it's, this may have came out like 2014, 2015. I put text away on screen right now to correct myself if I need to correct myself. But yeah, I like this game. I like the dodgeball uh, in this game. It's really fun. It's rated E. It's not the best uh, Mario Sports game, but it's up there in my opinion. I do like it. And again, I should give this another try, especially uh, with my friends. Uh, we could do like four player mode or something, you know. So, we'll see. I remember buying Mario Kart Wii back in 2011. And my favorite course would probably be Mushroom Gorge. We played this a couple of times on my co-op channel, Super Nintendo Guys. And it was fun. And I had a lot of times fun playing it with my friends. And we had a good time. But um, we haven't played it really at all. Like in a couple of years, honestly. So we might want to get back into it. I don't know. We'll see how they feel about it, too. I'd be willing to always do another episode of this on my co-op channel. But we'll see. We'll see. Next is Super Mario Galaxy. I remember doing a Let's Play on this back in 2013. I didn't get all the stars because I remember I said, like, I can't take the heat in one of the video titles. So I actually just ended up being Bowser without, you know, having all the stars. Which I do want to 100% this game eventually. I might give this game a go, another go. And I think that Super Mario Galaxy 1 has a better story than Galaxy 2. But then you can also argue that Galaxy 2 may have slightly better gameplay than Galaxy 1. But... It's your opinion, I guess. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this game, because I really like it. I remember getting this game shortly before I actually did the Let's Play, so I think I get this, got this game in like 2012, 2013. And it's a fun game. I do recommend it. Here is uh, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. I do remember playing the LEGO Star Wars series a little bit with Sam Dillo TBOC. And uh, we, I think we played like the PS2 version, though. I have this one for the Wii. It's a fun game. I haven't played any of the new LEGO Star Wars games, the new LEGO video games, based on like Indiana Jones or Star Wars or whatnot. Um, I'm covering up, there's a first and last name, so I'm gonna cover it, I'm covering it with my hand right now. So yeah. So I think, yeah, I did, I did think I did get this game at like a flea market, my local flea market, or one of my local flea markets. It's a fun game. I should play it a little bit more often. Or give it another go, cause I feel like it kinda deserves to be played again, cause it's really a fun game, you know. Uh, I like how everything's all Lego and stuff, and you can build stuff when you're a Lego person yourself. It's fun. 
It's fun. Curious Kirby's Epic Yarn. I remember getting this game in either 2011 or 2012. Matt Pissword did a Let's Play of this. I think he did one or two episodes or maybe even three of this uh, game with his with Gus. I had ept. Uh, they did a couple of Let's Play of this and I think they only did a couple episodes but it was still fun. Um, Kirby games are really meant to be easy yet I haven't even beaten a Kirby game to be honest. I should though because it's a good franchise, you know. Very respectable. And Kirby is pretty fun, you know, taking powers of your enemies, taking the power of your enemies, and using them, using it against them. That's kind of fun, you know. So I might want to give this game a go again, because I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> so yeah, I do think this game deserves another go, honestly. Here is my party eight. We played um a little bit, um, I think a couple boards of this on my cup channel, Super Nintendo guys. Uh, the mini games involved like motion controls and you using the Wii remote. Um, I, I have my parties 2, 7, and 8, but I do want to get some more of those, like, especially the GameCube ones, because I heard 4 and 5 are good, maybe even 6 is good. And uh, the, the N64 ones are pretty good, too. Uh, yeah. So, and I've seen gameplay of, like, pretty much all of my parties, except for, like, the newest ones. Like, I think 9 and 10, I haven't seen really much gameplay of, but you can, I can probably look it up on YouTube and find videos on it. So yeah, this is a fun game. It's a good party game. The mini games are pretty cool. So yeah, just make sure your sensor bar is properly placed because I think that has to do a lot with the, the motion controls and whatnot. But yeah, overall, a fun game. Uh, we should go back to it, but I don't know if any of my, if Sam or Matt or Gus would be in like in on it to play this game again for our club channel. But we'll see. I mean, they could have a different opinion by now. Here's New Super Mario Bros. Wii. We've done a series 100% uh, let's play of this on my channel and then we played a, like up to World 5 I think or we used maybe the Warp Zone or the Cannon to get to World 5 from World 1 on Super Nintendo guys. Um, this is a fun game. Uh, it's, a first, it's the first 4 player co-op uh, Mario game which is pretty fun. Uh, I think I would still remember a good amount of the star coins in this game, but maybe not all the locations. Because there's like three star coins per level, and then there's like what, seven level, six levels in a world? And then six times eight is like, it's 48 plus the eight levels. If you get all the star coins, you can unlock all the levels in world nine. So that's eight plus 48. That's like 56 star coins, but um, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18, yeah, times another 8, because there's three, 3 star coins, 6 levels in each world, that's um, that's 18 times another 8, that's even a bigger number honestly, I might want to put the number on screen and the calculations on screen just so uh, I'm not confusing you guys. I'm sorry that that makes it sound really confusing because I didn't say it right or whatnot. So yeah, but overall, fun game. It's one of my favorite Mario games, honestly, just because I had so much fun. I had so much fun playing with my friends. So it's definitely up there for me in a Mario game, and I really like it a lot. And it's fun. Here is one copy of my Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, I got I think I think I bought a second copy because my silver copy got scratched a lot and it couldn't be read on my Wii. So I got two of these, and it's a fun game, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The subspace, emissary, the subspace Emissary is really good. I like the story in there. That's how I unlocked all the characters, is just going through the Subspace Emissary. It's a fun game. Uh, we don't really play it much with, I don't play it much with my friends at all, really. Because we just don't feel like playing, I guess. But I should give this game another go, because it was really fun. And it's, it has a lot of content in it, and good characters. I like Pokemon Trainer, and then Snake's also in this, so, and Snake didn't return for Smash 4, so. If you don't play a Snake in Smash right now, as of 2008, as of January 16th, 2018, is when I'm recording this video, then, uh, you can only play Snake as in Brawl. I think, maybe, it's, I think he's in Project M, though, but Project M was discontinued, and I don't think you can really get the files to get Project M anymore, because the website doesn't have it anymore, I guess. So, I could be wrong on that though, I could be wrong. So, this game's probably worth playing if you're, um, if you want to play a snake from Metal Gear Solid.
Although he uses a lot of explosives, because I think that's how Nintendo um, got him to not be in the game, is because it's not. I think guess explosives are his violent or something. But I don't know. It's a fun game overall. I like it still. I should play it more though. Here's Sonic Unleashed. I got this game from a friend. I've only played about an hour of it, honestly, at playtime. I do want to play more of this because I want to give more of the th 3D Sonic games a chance. Even though people say they're really all bad, but I think I want to... I haven't played a lot of the 3D Sonic games, so I want to give them a go just to see how it is and form my own opinion, I guess. It's a fun game. I don't think I've ever reached nighttime though, where it turns into a werewolf, werewolf or whatever. But, um, this is a fun game of what I played, and... I should give it some more playtime, I guess. That makes more sense. And give Sonic some love. Yeah, here's my other copy of Brawl. It just has, um, I guess this little thing right here that says Fighting Game of the Year. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's really about it. My last game I have for my Wii is, of course, Wii Sports. I got it for $10 at GameStop. And I don't have an official case for this because, like, uh, yeah, the, the, the part in here, like, kind of... Kinda just broke off, so it's probably scratching my disc, but that's okay. I also have um Super Mario Sunshine right there, which I'll get to in a future video when I show off my GameCube games. But um, yeah, we sports is fun. We played it like a couple of times on my co-op channel, but um, other than that, we haven't played it really in a long time. It's fun just to play like tennis and boxing and bowling and baseball. Pretty much all the games are fun. And it uses motion controllers, which is pretty fun. And I actually bought this separate from, uh, I bought my used Wii, Wii in, um, 2011. And then I got this game the same day. And I paid $10 at GameStop to get it. And they gave me this case, because, uh, it says Wii Sports right here, but, um, it's, uh, it's okay. I mean, I got, I got a case at least. There's, this is like the only exception where I don't have a case for two games. So. Because I didn't get it as a case for my um, Super Mario Sunshine disc, but that's okay. So yes, yeah, so this has been then my video game collection series. In the next uh, video, we'll do, uh, let's see here. I guess we can do my, let's do Xbox next, actually. Let's, yeah, let's, just, let's do Xbox next. Because uh, I have probably fewer games than my Wii collection from my Xbox collection, but... That'd be cool to go from Wii to X Xbox, you know? So yes, that's what you're go again. I would like them to say goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of my video game collection side series.